Developed over two years, but was it worth the wait? This is a product review that I've been really excited to do. I actually asked you on the poll feature on this and also on Instagram stories if you wanted a first impressions or if you wanted a, like a full review. And um, I was surprised, actually you guys wanted me to hold off and get to grips with the product before doing the review. So that's exactly where we are. I've had a couple of weeks sort of playing with this new product. This is Lockhart's Anti-Gravity. And I'm in a good place now to really tell you what it does and what it doesn't do. Now, this is a brand new launch from Lockhart's. Lockhart's is a brand that I absolutely love. I just, I, I love what they're doing. You know, they're a home brewer from Michigan. Their products are some of my favorites. And this is one that I was interested about because it said in uh, the stuff about the product, Anti-Gravity is a matte paste clay fiber cream hybrid, all rolled into one very unique formula. It's the consistency of a light fiber, applies like a cream, holds like a paste, and provides the texture and volume of a clay. The one thing that I'm sort of really looking at this for, and I know a lot of you guys will be looking at this too. It says results, weightless hold with a matte finish for thicker, fuller hair. Perfect for highly texturized hairstyles. Packaging is just your standard lock card. I like it. I, I think they've just got a really solid brand. Everything feels like it's, like it's quality. A lot of brands now, you know, the white label stuff just smashed on a plastic crap tin or tub. But this, I, I just like, you know, also with this sort of holographic shiny top, yeah, it gets a thumbs up from me. Into smell, another sort of aesthetic which I'm not too bothered about. This one I have said, lightly fruity and floral, but the website actually says it's got a host of scents. You know, they've got bergamot at the top, they've got lemon, they've got various other things, but it's, um, it's not overpowering. You know, you kind of can smell it, but it doesn't, hi Lily, it doesn't necessarily bother me. Ingredients, it is water-based, which I love, easy to wash out, hopefully. But then you look into it, it's got kaolin. So kaolin is a type of clay, and it's actually one of my favorite types of clay because kaolin tends to swell the hair. So that is really what should make the hair look thicker and fuller. Um, it's also got bentonite, another type of clay. You've got beeswax, hydrogenated castor oil, microcrystalline wax, various other things which will be up on screen now. So really the sort of standard ingredients that we'd expect. Then into consistency, I think this is where it gets interesting. Now this is a matte paste. Paste is a sort of product that I don't necessarily have a clear sort of vision in my head, but when you get your fingers into this, instantly it's quite sticky to the touch. And then when you start to sort of work it into your hands, it feels quite chalky. And as a result of that, it kind of dries. So you really need to move quickly. Now into the ease of application, it is very easy to apply. I should say, in this and across all reviews, I try it in various different ways. So whatever you see here isn't necessarily always how I do it. I've tried it as a pre-styler, I've tried it as a pre-styler and a post-styler together, I've tried it as just a post-styling, I've done exactly what they say on the tin, and I've also done it my own way. And I think that's really important to kind of work out what works and what doesn't. They're saying to have even coverage to blow dry the product into the hair, allowing it to set before adding more product. So really, what it's suggesting here without actually seeing it, it's saying to use it as a pre-styler. So really consistency across each way that I've used it, and you'll see this, is very easy. You do have to work quite quickly because of that sort of texture, because it starts to feel like it dries, get it into the hair work, back to front, totally coat it before styling. For styling, I've really broken this down into two parts because I, uh, in a review, I like to go with what they say and then I like to go with what I think and how I sort of do things. So I've done one, as they say on the tin, which suggests using it as a pre-styler and a post-styler. And then secondly, I've used it just as a post-styler, just to really see how it would work with my usual pre-styling products. So first up, this is styling it as a pre-styler and a post-styler. You know, it is easy to apply. You can feel that you're starting to get the volume worked into the hair with that hair dryer. And then adding a little bit more product to really start to add definition and to put in a parting if you want it, or just to kind of zoom fit up. Now here, this is me after having used it. And then I'm gonna give you a hold on this. Right, I've just uh, used the product. Focus on me please, I'm here, hi. Uh, so that is the product in looking all right. It does have a low shine, um, which I like. It is matte, so that's a tick. Uh, texture, sort of got a bit of movement to it. But we'll see how it goes sort of for the day in terms of hold. Full disclosure, I have put a, like a touch of hairspray just because it was dropping instantly and I, I, I don't think it's gonna be a product that does have great hold. But I'll, I'll be able to let you know about that. 
Right, we are on uh, 22, 11, I put this in my hair at 7 a.m. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, so almost 16 hours, like 15 and a half hours. Um, it's not done too badly at all. I mean, hold is minimal. Um, it's still got, it's texture. Like, I'm, I'm noticing this today even. Like, I was kind of playing with my hair, I was kind of like touching it, um, which I wouldn't normally do, but I felt like it's, it's felt malleable, it's felt texturized, it's felt like it's got a bit of grit to it, it feels like it's got something going on. Um, and that is quite impressive. So there you go there, you know, it was kind of staying, it, it sort of lacked that thickening, but I've also done it here. Now this is as I would normally sort of use a product. I use my usual Aveda thickening tonic, and then I use this as a post styler. And this is exactly what happened. So that's my usual pre-styler, the Aveda thickening tonic, and then I've used anti-gravity for styling. Good volume, a bit of hold, it doesn't feel like massively like it's gonna stay but you guys will see. Okay, this has been um, not even a full day, this has been a couple of hours with this in my hair. And in terms of a styling product without any hairspray, it's not doing that well. I mean, it's still malleable and I can still push on it, but for me, that's, I, I just, I wouldn't trust that. Also, I've been outside, the wind was going for it, it was going everywhere, um, and kind of, I've even lost where that parting went in. Right, this is um, about eight hours of this product being in my hair with no hairspray and just using it as a styling product, not as a pre-styler. Absolutely no hold. Um, also, although I kind of like can shake it back in, it will just drop again. So that was the product with and without, confusing myself, with and without it as a pre-styler and using it as a post-styler. Now, washability works exactly the same across both and this is it. Okay. Right, that's the product washed out my hair. Really very easily actually. I just um I just used water um, and I kind of forgot it was in my hair and then I thought, okay, well that's come out now because I'm gonna be doing some more filming. I actually have washed it with shampoo and conditioner, but um yeah, easy, really good. Now looking into price in comparison of this product, this product is $18.95 for 3.7 ounce. You also get it if you're in Europe or you're in the UK, which is Europe, hi. Uh, it is 19 euros 95. I will link absolutely everything. Now I should say that is in line with other sort of Lockhart's products and other of those, I would say sort of uh, mid to higher end products. So it's, it's the same as their clay, which I absolutely love. Looking at it really in, where have I put these products? Down here, here we go. Looking at it in comparison to products which I love for thickening and sort of making your hair fuller. I'm looking at my two go-tos. You saw that one there, I made a thickening tonic which is a pre-styler and also Nioxin Dia Boost, which I think is just like one of the best products in terms of thickening. It quite literally puts your hair into bubble wrap and makes it feel fuller. This product in terms of thickening I have issues with. Thickening is very cosmetic and it's something which you'll put in and you can wash out. But with this, I felt like it gave the volume and the texture, but it didn't have the thickening properties, whereas these two definitely would. And I think that leads us into a perfect verdict. Now, I, uh, straight away, I love Lockhart's. I said that I love Lockhart's products. But I feel like if they just said it was a matte paste and it was to add texture, I would say, yeah, great. This product isn't great for me and other guys uh, with fine hair because we really need a bit more, don't we? We want to really plump it and we want something that's just then gonna go on to style it. But if you're a guy with thicker hair and you just want that instant texture, you want your hair to have movement, you want it to look like it's got something in it without having something in it, that sort of everyday look, then I think this will be great for you. So really, for me, is that a product I'd recommend? Thicker hair for texture, yes. Finer, thinner hair, and you need it to boost and feel fuller, no. Stick with a thickening tonic, or a thickening spray, or your usual sort of routine, and then if you want, use this for a bit of texture, but I'd say stick with their clay. Seriously, I love their clay. But that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I've got a lot going on at the moment. Uh, so much so that I missed a video on Thursday, I'm so sorry. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, man for himself, then you'll see all my stories. I've just moved into a new studio. This is not the studio. I'm getting it all set up and it's exciting. We're gonna see what we can do there, just for a couple of months. But 
this is me just a bit scatty and trying to pick up on stuff. But thank you again for watching. Where's my train of thought going? If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button, as ever, is just up there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me, watch them. There's my blog, there's my podcast, there's Instagram. It's all up there. But I will see you in the next video. I'll pull my game together, up my act. I'll be back on Thursday. Bye-bye.